Hello out there, YouTube. What's going on, guys? It is D Dunn here, the most chill COD player. And joining me today on this commentary is Baby D Dunn, who you may hear saying random things in the background. But regardless, we're going to be doing another episode of the Kim with Every Gun series. And the gun that we're going to be watching and talking about today is the Bulldog, the semi automatic bastard that always seems to kill you in one shot from impossible ranges. And it's really annoying. That's probably the best description of this gun. It's really annoying. Um, I don't say I wouldn't say that it's overpowered at all. Um, you know, obviously up close it's really good, but that's what shotguns are supposed to do. And if you have something that does what's supposed to do really well, then I would just consider it really good, not overpowered. Overpowered is whenever you have a gun that does things that it shouldn't do. For example, the UMP in Modern Warfare 2 being able to snipe you across the map in like three shots. That's overpowered. But regardless, uh, the gun is really good. It is kind of difficult to go on streaks because you have to know how to map, how to navigate the map very effectively so you find yourself in close quarters engagements. I feel that goes pretty much without saying with every shotgun. I think out of... Ah! I think, sorry. Baby's grabbing the mic there. Um, I think out of all the shotguns in Ghost, I would say that the Bulldog is probably the best just because it is so spammable. You know, you throw on agility and marathon, and you're just flying around the map. Um, it's really annoying to play against, but it is kind of difficult to go on consistently long streaks with. So I still would remark that this Kim Strike is rather impressive. Um, I know um, in the past, semi-automatic shotguns have always been a problem, and so I would I would I would hope that you know by now we can get it right when moving forward into advanced warfare. I think the obvious thing is that a shotgun that's semi-automatic should never ever get a one-shot kill. Um, it just makes the balancing factor almost impossible just because you can spam so quickly. Um, also, one thing that they could do to really help out uh, with semi-automatic shotguns is to just lower the ammo capacity or just put a massive fire rate cap on it. That way you can't just you know spam as fast as your little finger can, can go. Um, um, other than that, guys, there's really not too much to say. Like I said, about, you know, the Bulldog, it's a pretty, it's a really good shotgun. It does what it does really good up close, but I wouldn't say it's overpowered. I think, uh, you know, its closest competitor, um, would be, or the closest counterpart, I guess I should say, would be the Striker from Modern Warfare 3. But in that game, you had the damage and range proficiencies, which you do not have in this game, which I think made the Striker much, much, much more lethal. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments section your thoughts on the Bulldog. I know this commentary was a little all over the place, but we're kind of nearing Ghost in, and so there's not really too much to say that I know you guys don't already know. But regardless, it was a really good gameplay, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you hated it, then just go ahead and dislike it. Like I said, leave a comment below with your thoughts on the Bulldog, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.